Suppose the functions f of x and g of x are inverse functions. About what line is the graph of g of x a reflection of the graph of f of x? So I've done a visual over here on the right to help us understand this. And let's look at f of x. Let's pick this point right here. And again, I pick these points as random, but I want you to be able to see the visuals of what we're doing. Well, the inverse is simply if I have the 3 in the x spot on the f of x and the g of x, that 3 is going to be in the y spot. So on this first coordinate that I have circled, it's the x coordinate is 1, 2, 3 in the negative direction, so it's negative 3, comma, and then the y direction, it's up 1, 2, 3, 4 spots positive. So that means that on the g of x, my coordinate over there is just going to be the inverse. So it should be 4, negative 3. And so then let's look at that. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right on the x, and negative 1, 2, 3 on the y. So that's what it looks like. And so I did that with two other points so we can have a clear visual. And what it's asking is, what line is going to be reflection? In other words you, words, you draw a line and it's going to look like a mirror image. So if it's on the x-axis, let me get a different color here. Let's do the little highlighter. If it's on the x-axis here, well, if you look above and below that, you see that that doesn't make a clear mirror image. It's not an exact reflection back and forth. So it can't be on the x-axis. And then let's grab a different colored highlighter here. And here's the y-axis. And again, look at our image. And you don't see an exact mirror image that way either. So it can't be A, and it can't be B. And then the line y equals 0, well, that's just right from the center. And so it's not that either. And so then we're really left with, is it D or is it E? And let's go ahead and plot those lines. So when y is equal to x, so let's say when y is 1, then x equals 1. So we would have points. Let me grab a different marker color here. And let's go ahead and go purple. Y is 1. X is 1. Right here, right here. It's going to go in a direction like this. And then if I make a line with that, we'll find... There it is. And right there you see that if you look on either side of that, here or here, that it's going to be a mirror image. And so it's going to be D. E would end up giving you a line that goes in the opposite direction. So it would look something like this if we plotted out E. So your answer is D.